This PowerPoint gives you an introduction to HTML. When you're becoming a web developer, there are some fundamental things about HTML and its background that you need to know. First of all, there are many types of web developers, but there are three main categories of web developers. Um, first, we have the front end developer. And the front end developers are the ones who implement web page designs using HTML and CSS. So front end developers m are the ones that make sure the website looks pretty on different devices and that the forms and the buttons work amongst many of the other um, you know, tasks that they have. The back end developers are the ones that create the backbone of the web application. So they're, one they're the ones that write the code logic that handles a user's input. So they're the ones that write the script that deals with the data that the users enter into the form that is on the web page, amongst many other things that they do. And we also have full stack uh, developers who are the ones that do both. So they do both uh, the task of front end developers and the back end developers as well. So in this course, we are looking at front end development. We are going to be working as front end developers. So we're going to implement web page designs using HTML and CSS, uh, which is what we're going to learn. Um, in this class, we're going to take a closer look at HTML to begin with. And in the following weeks, we'll take a look at CSS and how HTML and CSS works together. All right, so let's take a look at HTML. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. It is used to design um, web pages using a markup language. So HTML is a combination of hypertext and markup language. Hypertext defines the link between web pages. So on any web page, you'll be able to link from one page to another, right? And the markup language, uh, the other part of it, is used to define the text document within tags. And these tags defines the structure of the web pages. Um, this language is used to annotate, which means make notes for the computer um, in a way that machines can understand it and manipulate the text accordingly. So most markup languages like HTML are human readable. Um, the language defines what man manipulation has to be done on the text. So a little bit on the history of HTML. HTML is a markup language used by the browser to manipulate text images and other content in order to display it in their required format. Um, HTML was created by Tim Berners-Lee in 1991. The first ever version of HTML was HTML 1.0, but the first standard version was HTML 2, which was published in 1999. So the first ever version came out in um, as 1.1, um, but when it was when there was an official standard version, it was actually later on in 1999, which when it became HTML 2.0. Okay, so next moving on to elements and tags. So in HTML, we have something called elements and something called tags. HTML uses predefined tags and elements, which tell the browser how to properly display the content. So this is an example of elements and tags. This is a P tag here, okay, and this is a start tag, okay? The angle bracket P and close angle bracket, this is an example of a tag, and this is begins the tag, okay? And this is an end tag with a slash. So this is this shows that this is the, the end tag, and this whole thing is an element. Okay, so remember to always include closing tags. This is the opening tag that starts the paragraph. Some text is just a string of uh, words of text, and then this is the closing paragraph. So the words, some text would be inside of that paragraph. Okay, so you must have a closing tag if you start the paragraph with the start tag here, with the angle bracket P, close angle bracket. It must end with this end tag if omitted the browser applies the effect of the opening tag until the end of the page. So basically what it means is that your page will look messed up if you don't close your tags. So your tags must always be closed. 
right? So we also have the HTML page structure. The basic structure of an HTML page contains the essential building block elements um, like doc type declaration, HTML head, title, and body elements upon which all the web pages are created. So every what this means means is this is the HTML structure for every page, um, for every web page that is out there. You must have a doc type declaration to begin with. The doc type declaration tells what version of HTML this is. There are many versions of HTML. It tells the browser which one it is so that the browser can render it properly, so that it can read it properly, so it knows what version of HTML it is. HTML it is and it has to be the first thing that is in an HTML document. Next is the HTML root element so you can see that HTML element starts uh, sorry HTML tag starts here and then here is the end tag for HTML element okay so everything from here to here is inside of the HTML element. Next we have the head tag the head tag is used to contain HTML metadata, and don't worry, we'll talk a little bit more about what that means. So basically what you need to know is that inside the HTML tag, we have the head tag, and we have the body tag, okay? Inside the head tag, we have things like title, meta tags, um, and a few other things we'll talk about later. Inside the body, we have all the content that you actually see on the web page. And again, we'll talk about this more. All right, so beginning with the doc type, HTML and, and head tags. So the, as I said, doc type, declar doc type declaration is the DTD. Okay, so it's not actually technically a tag, but we'll call it a tag. It's a, it, it is what declares the document as being an HTML document. Okay, the doc type declaration is not case sensitive. Okay, so you can have that in uppercase or lowercase. Um, the HTML tag here is called the HTML root element. So everything after the doc type declaration must be inside of the HTML element. Everything must be inside of there. Okay. Then we have the head tag. The head tag contains the behind the scenes um, elements for the web page. Uh, elements within the head tag are not visible on the front end of the page. So it's kind of like behind the scenes, the backstage stuff, which is still very important. So you have things like you can put your style in there. Um, you can put your title in there. Title is the title of your page that you see on the tab. And uh, you can, you know, you can put your script in there. You can put your meta tags in there. You can put links to your CSS files or your JavaScript in there. Okay, next we have the body tag. The body tag is used to enclose all the visible content of the web page. So it is what the browser will show on the front end. That's the body content. So your text, your pictures, your videos, that will all be in the body, okay? And always remember to close your HTML tag. That should be the very last thing on any HTML page is this, okay? The closing HTML tag. All right, so that brings us to the end of this uh, PowerPoint video. In the next video, we'll actually go right into Adam and then we'll, your code editor, and then we'll start applying what we have learned in this video.